a live error. Because they are indeed in that same genus. Uh, but most of them are white. There's some that are red in the. Whoa. Ooh. Uh, and we have a fish that we'd like to take a look at. Thanks for the, Thank that, you, that input, Santiago. We will uh, we'll keep an eye out and see if we can find something that um, during during our collections. Sure. Yeah, that'll be that'll be amazing. I'm really trying to see all these different kinds of corals and it's cool fish now. Yeah. So we're coming into position to get a better view of this fish. Um, this looks like a type of angler fish. People are looking on the stream two screen. You can see the amazing topography that we're traversing right now. But um, as a D2 gets into view. We're going to take a closer look at the, the fish ahead of us. That was a bit of a surprise as we were coming <laughs> right up there. I saw the tail first and I thought, hmm, what's up ahead? This one uh, actually has the lure out. The one we saw the other day, uh, the lure was kind of flush back against the, the head. The lure is extended out over its head. I don't think D2 is going to take the bait, though. <laughs> it's a isopod kind of floating in the background. That is a cool shot, Levi. Okay, a, a great panoramic view of this um, angler fish. So. Looks like we're honing in on genus Sladenia. Sladenia. See the fins are really modified to almost appear like feet, and they sort of creep along the substrate here on this rock, perched, and they kind of hop if they want to take off and go somewhere. They don't move too fast. But I'm guessing they don't have to escape too many things down here. <laughs> Only giant ROVs. Right. We're going back into the rock. Maybe you can zoom if you want. Okay. Bring them up. I'm always impressed on these fishes about the the function of these spines. I wonder if it could be to attract prey or deter predators. Well, we were talking about this on one of the earlier dives. Those little sort of fringy f projections that are running throughout the body. Yeah, they might not be. About? Yeah, they might not be spines. They might be more sensory. Or um, one of the scientists on the shore side suggested there might be some bioluminescent. Um, aspects to it as well, so it may glow in the dark deep sea. Amazing shot. Usually we have to see them from the top down. We can actually see this one face on now. Thanks, pilot. That was incredible. I would say we're definitely encountering higher fish diversity on this dive thus far. Yeah. And we are a bit shallower than we were yesterday. Yes. Uh, running into 1,175 meters. Again, diving in an unnamed seamount within the Phoenix Islands protected area. Um, heading up slope on the southern face. And getting some great imagery of the corals, um, some sponges, as well as other associated organisms and other invertebrates like this uh, crinoid, stock crinoid on the left, which is also a sea lily. Yeah. 